up? We are here at BIR for their third race of their three race series of the muscle car shootout. Uh, we're we're running all our pro mod again. We are, I believe, second in points right now. And um, so the plan is obviously to qualify number one and win the event. Uh, we'll go over some math later uh, regarding what needs to happen for us to have a chance to win the championship. So we'll go over that with my abacus and uh, take a look, see. So it's gonna be hot this weekend. Uh, I believe today it's supposed to be 30 degrees, tomorrow 32, and then Sunday it's supposed to be 35. So track temp is gonna get up there for sure. So it's definitely gonna get tricky. So this pass here, make an A to B, that's the plan, and get on the sheet and then go from there and we'll see what happens. So that in Pasco is planned, but uh, make a couple little changes, a little bit, because we have a gear change in the back, so at least I have some data now for the traction control, and make a slight change in the rear end, make a little bit of a bar change, and try again. So I'm very determined to get it down in this heat. Um, the car right now is detuned quite a bit with the gearing that we have and whatnot, so there's lots of potential left in it. It went, I think, 0.99 still to the 60 foot leaving on, I think it was seven or eight pounds less boost than I usually leave on. So it's definitely liking the gear change and uh, we'll try again in a couple hours. Track temp is gonna get probably higher now. I think it was 110 that last pass. And uh, we'll see, we'll try in the left lane and go from there. better that time but shook the tires still so this gear change is getting a little tricky so this after this run I'm gonna make a converter change and I think that's gonna solve all our problems so dumb it down try to get down because number one I think it's only like a 50 to be honest with you 450 so really long as we go down we have no problem doing that so we'll see now weather's getting better uh, track will still be half decent and we'll make a way. Morning. Sorry I forgot to do a video last night once we came back and when we did the converter change I didn't get done till I think like midnight so had some drinks had some food and so we're gonna try it today uh, it's hot it's hotter than yesterday so track time is gonna be in the upper 120s for sure so hopefully this converter does fix things and I'm hoping it will and then uh, we'll see first pass and go from there number one I think is a 21 or a 22 right now
Well, big thanks to Patrick. That helped a lot. So there, with it being detuned quite a bit, went to 416 at 181. 60 foot down to 104, which is where I thought it was going to be. So now we have some data with this converter. I can start playing with it now. So it's creeping up a little by little. Hopefully next pass runs an O. It's getting hot now. So it's track temp last run with 111. Um, so we're going to run for another hour. So it's probably going to be around 120, 125. You can see, so next is just going to try to run an O. And then if that runs good, the next pass and try to run a nine. So just slowly creeping up on it. Ray's doing his job, which is good. And we'll see what goes from there. So we're gonna make another run for another hour and just make little changes creeping by creeping. So last run was a bit of a, I'm not gonna lie, it was a guess on lots of it because I have no data with this converter. So, but that just shows, use the data that you have and go from there. Don't start from scratch. So at least then you know you can compare the data from run to run. And then the key is also is keeping your logs in proper order so that you can come back. And I know now from this track, from this converter, if I come back a year from now with my data, that the air was this temperature, the track was this temperature and so on. So I see this so many times guys go from track to track and they have no clue what they're doing because they don't keep their data logs in order then you might as well not even have a data log because it's useless at that point. So we'll make another run and hopefully run it out. video on the last run before this one so that one there was the second run there was running good just a little late input on that one but no big deal so we go on to the final session which track was getting a little greasy decided to leave the same tune up in it which i thought would go around a 406 405 and it went right down broadway around 406 at 184 so pretty happy with it the way the way it's running um it's detuned right now but it's just going to need to be right now the closest i think is a 21 or 22 to us so the plan is tomorrow there's a to b dumb it down and um hopefully you get the win and the uh, big thing is never worry about trying new stuff that's a big thing i can't stress yes our car has run 380s before but you can always improve your program never think that Oh, no one's close to me, so now I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. No, always be improving, because eventually, if you don't, they will catch up to you and pass you. So, big things with us. Plan is to possibly go testing after this and do a couple more races, and freshen the motor and rinse and repeat. So, that's it for Saturday. We get up qualified number one. Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday. I'm sweaty. It's humid as shit here today. Uh, water grades over 100. Temperature is supposed to be 35 degrees Celsius. So track time is going to be the same as yesterday. So we ended up qualifying number one. So the work I did on my abacus last night for the championship is it goes as is.
So we have to qualify number one, which we did. So that gained us two points on Chris. So right now we are 60, uh, we are 14 points behind. You get five points per round win here. Six cars, three rounds. So three times five, 15. That means Chris has to lose first round. If Chris loses first round and we win, we win the championship by one point. He wins first round, it's over. We finish second. So miracles do happen. So that's what we're hoping for. And regardless, we have to make our round wins also. So A to B tunes, that's it. Try to run a low teen every run. That should be enough. So Ray gets a half decent light. Should be ours. So we'll see what happens this first round. And praying that that firebird goes up first round. the round win went exactly what I thought I was gonna run a 14 at 181 so we got to buy it now into the final so my philosophy is always try something so I'm gonna try something here and see if it's gonna run what I think it's gonna run um, if I change my mind it's getting pretty hot but uh, see what happens and then uh, for the final we get to you either running Chris or Chris so we're running a Chris as Ray would say so it's getting really hot as I said, and uh, sweaty. So you saw in that video, I tried to see what the track could hold and obviously I found that out. Chucked the tires at about 150, 200 feet out, right as all the power is getting rolled in. So go back to what worked, put the 414 tune up in it. Should be good enough. Uh, Chris says he's not here yet. So it's easy broke or I guess we'll find out. So, but regardless, we're still gonna make a pass. So see what happens in the final. Chris didn't show up, he ended up uh, apparently breaking the lower blower pulley. And uh, so I just left the tune up what it was, we still made a hit. And it went, what, 4.13 with a nine. So I was a thou off on my prediction of what that tune up should have ran. So happy for Ray, happy for the team that we picked up the win. And uh, we might have one more race this year, we'll see, we're gonna talk, so. And if not, then comes out, gets freshened, and rinse and repeat. So once again, thanks for watching. 
and we ended up finishing second in the points um, with that win. So all is good, rods are in her, and uh, she lives to run another day. So remember, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.